morning is noon. <laughs> it's close to 12. I'm heading out the door. I'm, I'm getting to get my nails fixed. Or I'm gonna get the gel polish taken off. I'm not gonna have anything done to it um, because I think they need a break. It's only been one time. <laughs> As you can see, they're pretty grown out. I think I had it for three weeks now. Um, I just want to do it on occasions where I'm, you know, I have some things to do. I think next time is maybe for the winter party or New Year's Eve. And to see if I can get these strong and healthy without anything. And maybe I will retry the set I have at home, give it a second chance. Because I feel like it went bad last time because I put on a thick layer. Even though I felt it was thin, I think it was still too thick. It is weekend, it is Saturday. <laughs> Yesterday was a um, summer party at work. I didn't stay for very long. We started at 9 with kind of like a brunch thing. And then staff meeting, and then heading into lunch, the party started. It was really nice, but the weather was so stormy, and I feel a little bit under the weather right now. It's not too bad, but it's not great either. Um, and most of my department, I think they went home around 3, and the party start, they stopped at 11. We had a lottery, which was quite fun. You could win so much stuff. It was like 100, um, 100 prizes. And the prizes people were most excited about were you could win one day off, you could win a day off on your birthday and a full week of vacation free added to what you earn already. And you can just hear people cheering when they won. Like there was more excitement than winning like a sound box or three liters of vodka or something like that. That was the most excited. Actually won. <laughs> I won a Monday off in September. And then next year we can see how long we're going to stay. I still want to attend next year. I still want to go for the lottery. That was fun. <laughs> I really liked it. Um, and also the weather was crazy. It started pouring rain. Some of the tails got knocked over <laughs> because it was so stormy. They had to secure it. <laughs> so it's a bit... And the weather was not great. And I think I'm going to go for the gym as well. I wanted to go on the body trigger to see if the creatine has some effect already. Um, I, feel, I think I talked about it last time. I feel like a little bit. I'm not sure if that's a placebo effect. I feel I'm not as sore after my workouts. And I feel a little bit stronger. Like just a smidge stronger. So let's see. I think I'm going to do legs today. Tomorrow I have a client at the gym. So I might do upper body just dividing it into two today and I need to go fetch my bike at the station because I never rode my bike home yesterday because I came home so early I could take a bus and the wind was crazy so I want to get that so I can ride my bike to the gym tomorrow hey guys I completely forgot to pick up my vlogging camera when I came home aka my phone it is almost eight so we've been to the gym um for a little bit and actually when i measured myself on the body tracker my weight was the highest it has ever been but then when i look at the numbers it makes sense <laughs> because my muscle mass is actually the highest it has been so far for me it's high it's never been 31.6 kilos of my body my fat is still too high but you know we're going in the right direction so my bad, bad, my body fat has been lowered a little bit, like 0.3%, which is fine. It's okay if we go slow and steady. Um, my goal was to be around 41 at my birthday. I would love that because that's the lowest I've been for a year. So I can see all my um, data from the past year, from 2023, as long as I, of course, did the body tracker. I think the highest my muscle mass has been so far was 31. So this is a little over a half kilo more. And I'm not sure if it's due to the creatine, but I think it starts to work a bit because I also can lift a little bit heavier. So maybe it's those two things combined. Of course, creatine doesn't just make your muscle mass pop without you doing anything for it at all. Uh, and I, I did hold a little bit of water, but it's fine. I went to the nail lady to get the old gel polish off and I didn't get anything done to it because it's, it's too expensive doing it every month. And I don't think it's that healthy for your nails because she filed it off 
and even though this my nails do still look nice but you can see the surface had like scratches and they feel a little bit thinner but maybe also the gel like made it a lot more sturdy and thick so it could also just be that um i'm gonna see if i can hopefully thicken my nail naturally and see if it actually can do that it's fine if it can but let's try i did visit my old um kit at home the one i bought a month ago where i didn't like it i think why i didn't like it was it was hard for me to put it on without having a thick layer because my nails were so short because now it was way easier <laughs> I didn't put the color on, just like the top, co the base coat, the top coat, so it's like a clear gel. So they look this now, like this. This is the nicest my nail has been looking for the longest time. But I just want to make a snack um, for the night. I bought some grapes and they look quite funny, so I'm gonna show you. It's from Amy Tusen. Never tried them before. It's just like you would think normal dark grapes but the shape is weird <laughs> like i mentioned the shape is weird like they are long and slim like like this i never seen grapes like this before it was also a little bit too expensive for this whole thing this is my hand normally you'll get a bucket twice as long they call midnight dream from Bremer Tusen. i don't know why but we're gonna taste them that look funny and i need more fruit in my diet i've been slacking so at least this is a fun one to eat hopefully it's good good morning it is sunday and i'm ready to head out i have a client at 11 it's a little past 10 it only takes like 30 minutes to walk there i'm gonna walk last night <laughs> was crazy weather we had uh, one of those storms you might have seen in the past vlog in the beginning Kind of similar to that, heavy rain, crazy lightning. At least it didn't last as long. But now it's sunny, I don't get it. But I have a client and then I'm gonna work out a bit afterwards, I think. Um, I'm just wearing <laughs> my work t-shirt with perfume. I don't know what it is with that fabric. It just smells like sweat after five minutes of wearing it. And I never experienced anything like it with other t-shirts. I can work out in my regular cotton, regular, everyday t-shirts um, for an hour and not even smell like that like my it's not my deodorant it's that fabric and I, I don't know how so I try to add some perfume to mask it because I feel like it's kind of embarrassing when you have clients and it's just smell bad but when I change from that t-shirt after an hour to my regular ones no smell at all yeah I prefer the old work t-shirt we had I never had that issue with those and it's the same deodorant I wear every day but when I for some reason wear that t-shirt you start to smell so bad I don't get it so we perfumed it to mask it then we have a client I'm gonna work out myself I think I'm gonna do more upper body yesterday I did more lower body and I need to figure out when to work out <laughs> next week because tomorrow I have two clients in a row so I'm not gonna work out myself then and there is too much. Gonna be late, too late home. Um, so maybe some of the other days. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. But I need to pack and then we'll get going. Hey guys, it's been a few days since I vlogged last. I think last time we had this big storm and maybe it was a clip of me in the gym. It is Sunday. I just came home from the gym. <laughs> I also went to No Mail and Furtex to do some shopping. Not crazy, just some things were needed and something were not but ended up coming home with me anyway. <laughs> and summer really got back to Denmark. It is 23 degrees today. And it's gonna keep that temperature for next week and the following week. In five days, I have a week of vacation. And in that time, I'm actually gonna get up quite early to go to the gym and practice because I'm taking another fitness instructor education power dance. And it's nice to use their classroom and music. Well, I bring my own music, but uh, the speakers. 
and I need to get all done by 14th of September, which is perfect because the week up until the 14th, I'm off, so I can get it done quickly. And then apparently I'll be power dance instructor afterwards. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use it, but the thing is now all education are free for employees. So you might as well just take it and see if you want to teach or not. I have been a Latin fitness instructor for six years, so I know <laughs> how to teach. I just think it's a shame that now it's almost all online. So the people taking it online, if they haven't been a fitness instructor before, they don't get that exam where people, regular people that are team members can join in and get that experience before standing on your own. Because I remember when I took it back in the days, many years ago, six plus years, <laughs> um, we had two full weekends where we had eight hours where we were taught different things, we tried different things. Then you have to prepare 30 minutes of the class you would normally teach afterwards and teach it. And the thing was they blocked uh, the classroom for a whole day in August, but all the regular members could actually join in as if it was a regular class. So you got the feeling as an instructor where you didn't know who was coming because it was people joining in that you didn't know and you had to teach and the uh, examinators were in the back. So you kind of forgot about it. And now it's all e-learning, uh, do choreographies, film it and send it in and you in the film they only have to see you and it's fine if you already have some experience teaching but if you haven't and then suddenly get out there it can be more nerve-wracking i feel at least i felt a bit more prepared the old way because i tried because it was in august and there was actually a lot of people that i didn't know <laughs> coming in which will happen normally <laughs> so but since then this one was supposed to be almost completely online and then one day you had to show up but we were only two people who want to do it so not enough people to keep it for a whole day so it's purely online and it's so fine right now it fits better to my schedule and i have been teaching for six years so i know what you can expect so i'm gonna be completely fine but i'm going to take the rest of the group fundamentals today I think next week I'm going to do the power dance module online. So I only have the following week where I'm off to make the two dances and rehearse it and film it. I think I'm going to make more than two in case that I'm actually going to teach right after. I don't have to make the whole class right then and there. Then I already have some material to use um, because I want to teach again. But it depends on what day and what time, because I have full-time job, I work as a personal trainer. I don't want to do weekends. I did that for so many years and I felt so locked because if I want to do something, you kind of lock due to that one hour you have to show up. Um, if I want to go home to my parents, I have to cancel because my parents don't live nearby, so I can't do both. Um, so I prefer between Monday and Thursday, so and at six or after mainly because I get to Herning at five and I don't want to rush to be there at 5.30. I could do it, but if my train is delayed, I had to really rush. If it's a six, I don't have to, I still have my time. But let's unpack all the food and the stuff from normal. And then I need to take a shower. Yeah. Grapes, coffee, beans, some carrots, sprouts, Cleaning wipes, frozen berries, a more frozen berry mix, cottage cheese. This yopoki with black soybean. Maybe I'll actually take this as lunch and then a protein shake. A smaller one later, I completely forgot about that one. No strips. I bought a heat protection spray that had some hair bonding stuff. Cream for my hands and for my nails. Um, tablets you can use in water. It's with hyaluronic acid and biotin and also have vitamin C as well, B12, zinc and tastes like blueberry. So also good for your hair and nails and I want to try it. Toothpaste. 
hair ties because mine is breaking and then a lip balm that should have like a coral tint and it's also for your cheeks like you can use for both which i like multi-purpose Okay, this is the lunch. We have the Iobuki. I did try the sauce a bit. Um, I'm not sure. I think I like Tibuki better, uh, even though it's a little bit more spicy. But I think I just eat the rice cake from this one. I know it's not the original one, so maybe I like that better. But I wanted to see what it was. But I think I'm just going to stick to the rice cakes and let the sauce be. We have some fresh grapes and some water with that tablet with biotin and vitamins and an ice cube it is now dinner time and i made an easy salad for myself it this looks like huge this is my hand but a lot of the things are low calories so i need a bigger volume to be full but i added some new stuff i never use in my salads and that's bean sprout i added some olives with almonds inside and a little bit of cottage cheese with some sweet mustard on top and I feel like this looks pretty nice so this is the dinner for today I'm also gonna end the vlog here so I can finish it and upload it <laughs> before the new week starts so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye